let us first assume a rough diagram of the triangle let this be the triangle abc and the sides x minus y is equal to 3 2x plus y is equal to 0 and x plus p y is equal to 39 so now we have uh, three sides in which one side has this p which is unknown so these two equations we can find the intersection of these two equations to find the a coordinate so let us do that 2x plus y is equal to 0 multiply this uh, second equation by 2 so that will give you 2x 2y is equal to 6 and uh, multiply by minus sign so that will give you minus 2x plus 2y minus 6 3y is equal to minus 6 y is equal to minus 2 and substitute x in this equation x minus minus 2y is equal to 3 x plus 2 is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 minus 2 x is equal to 1 so you got the coordinates of a 1 comma minus 2 alright these are the coordinates of a 1 comma minus 2 now the next thing is we know the slope of AC the slope of AC is um, x minus 3 is equal to y so slope of AC will be 1 right x minus 3 is equal to y so, so the slope of AC is 1 using uh, y is equal to mx plus c and now they have also given us the point of um, circumcenter which is p 2 comma 3 so if we draw a line passing from p which would be perpendicular to ac because it passes from the point p and uh, so it will be a perpendicular bisector of ac because p is the circumcenter let us name this line as pd so pd will be perpendicular to ac so slope of pd can be found out using the formula P M P D into M A C is equal to minus 1 because they both are perpendicular lines so the multiplication of their slopes will be minus 1 so M P D into 1 is equal to minus 1 so hence M P D is equal to minus 1 alright so let us write the equation of P D since, since it passes through the circumcenter it will be y minus 3 is equal to minus 1 x minus 2 3 is equal to minus x plus 2 y plus x is equal to minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 0 so y plus x is equal to 5 so this is the equation of the line PD which is perpendicular to AC it is a perpendicular bisector so now how can we find the coordinates of C right we know the equation of PD and we also know the coordinates of A so we can find the point C by using the uh, formula of image when an when a point is reflected through a line then we can find the image so since the image of A will be C because PD is perpendicular to AC so they will be divided into two equal halves so AD is equal to DC so C is the image of A through the line PD alright so using this concept we can find the coordinates of C so formula image formula is X minus X1 by 1 is equal to Y minus Y1 by A and here Y minus Y1 by B is equal to minus 2 ax plus by plus c by a square plus b square so the here the equation ax plus by plus c is y plus x is equal to 5 this is the equation and the coordinates are x1 and y1 are a a coordinates so they, this will be x minus 1 by a is also 1 is equal to y minus or minus 2 y plus 2 y 1 is equal to minus 2 a is 1 into x is also 1 b is 1 y is minus 2 
and C is minus 5 by 1 square plus 1 square. So we will get x minus 1 by 1 is equal to y plus 2 by 1 is equal to minus 2 1 minus 2 minus 5 by 2 2 and 2 will get cancelled x minus 1 is equal to minus of minus 2 minus 5 plus 1 is minus 6 multiplied by minus will give you plus 6 so x is equal to 7 and y plus 2 is equal to plus 6 so y is equal to 4 so we got the coordinates of c 7 comma 4 all right now we need to find p which is uh, unknown in the equation of bc so let us substitute uh, c coordinate in the equation of bc because it passes through the point c so that is x plus py is equal to 39 so x is 7 4p is equal to 39 so 4p is equal to 32 p is equal to 8 so we have also found that p is equal to 8 now let us verify the options the first option is ac is equal to ac square is equal to 9p let us verify for this we need to find out the uh, distance of ac alright we know the coordinates of both a and c so using distance formula ac is equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that will give you 7 minus 1 whole square plus 4 minus or minus 2 whole square will give you 6 square plus 6 square whole under root is equal to root 72. So this is the distance of AC and we know that P is 8. So root of 72 whole square is equal to 9 into 8. So 72 is equal to 72. First option is correct. Second option let us verify. Second option says if AC square plus P square is equal to 136. AC square is root 72 whole square plus P is 8 square is equal to 136. So 72 plus 64 is equal to 136 is also correct. Second option is also correct. Now the third and fourth options talk about the area of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle we will use the uh, method of area of the determinant I mean using the determinant to find area of triangle so that will be half oh wait we also need the coordinates of B and we haven't found out that so let us find the coordinates of B to find area of the triangle substitute the value of uh, P in uh, BC equation and find the intersection of AB and BC so AB is 2x plus y is equal to 0 and this is 2x plus 8y is equal to 39. So x plus 8y is equal to 39. So this is the uh, equation of AB and BC. So multiply equation of BC by 2 that will give you 2x plus y is equal to 0. 2x plus 16y is equal to 78 and uh, multiply by minus sign and now let us do the addition this will give you minus 15y is equal to minus 78 so y is equal to 78 by 15 or uh, you can also write it as 26 by 5 Alright, and uh, substitute the y in equation of BC and you will get x is equal to 26 by 15 minus 26 by 15 or 
x is equal to minus 13 by 5. Sorry, there is a small error. This is minus 26 by 10 is equal to minus 13 by 5. So these are the coordinates of B, which is 78 by 15. So we have found the coordinates of B, which are minus 39 by 15, comma 78 by 15. Now let us uh, write the area of the triangle. We can find the area of the triangle using the determinant half of coordinates of A 1 comma minus 2 1 coordinates of C 7 4 1 and coordinates of B minus 39 by 15 78 by 15 1 so when we solve this determinant we will get the value of 162 by 5 which is equal to 32.4 hence the last option is wrong that is the area of the triangle is greater than 34 Hence, D option is the correct answer because it does not satisfy the condition.